المؤسسه بتاعكم لابد تكون عندها ثقه. انستيتيوشن فيرست نيدز تو تراست تونيجيا. Because Tunisia already started working. It is facing many problems, many difficult circumstances. So we started working to change the situation. And today Tunisia is different from many other countries because Tunisia has a democratic regime and it's also trying to have a state of law. And of course, we are facing many challenges when it comes to the security challenge or the economic challenge. So we need to work on finding solutions in cooperation with friendly states and chiefly, of course, the United States of America. This is why I am here in the United States today, of course. I didn't came on my own. I was invited by President Barack Obama and by many other American officials. And since this morning, I had lots of meetings, discussions, and hopefully we will continue tomorrow. We're meeting with other officials, other officials in the United States, and we will and our visit with the meeting by president with the meeting with president obama and i hope that this visit will enhance the relations between the united states and tunisia and hopefully the tunisian people will be happy with us when we come back because the tunisian people is different from other people and this is the consequence of what previous leaders did in Tunisia, led by former President Al-Habib Bourguiba following the independence. He carried many very important reforms, and the most important of which that are typical of Tunisia is that we unified education. Education has been unified for the last 60 years, and it's also an education for all kids. All kids go to school and all schools are free. We also liberated women and this is very important. Tunisia is the only country where women is completely free and is playing her role at the same level as men at all levels, social, economic, cultural and so on. And this, of course, gives Tunisia an impulse forward to realize democracy. But on the other hand, we have a problem because democracy also needs economy. Because people who want democracy want also to eat, want to work, want to get dressed, want to get a rest. And as long as we cannot provide all these things, we will have a problem. So the United States will need to help us, and the United States promised to help. And hopefully following this visit, the situation will be moving forward, and we will be moving forward together with God's help.